Hi folks, Puffin here. Just wanted to make this video to explain how Trump is the Antichrist. Trump, Putin, Trump, Putin, Zuckerberg. There's a collection of them, but they represent or are currently the Antichrist in the world. And I'll explain this in this video. I feel like millions of people kind of know this or feel it intuitively. You know in your heart that Trump is the Antichrist. Um, but like I said in my video about replacing coal with weed. We can replace coal-powered plants, coal-powered power plants with herb, marijuana, with weed, hemp. And that's one secret to saving the world. Millions of people know this, but until we have a video about it that millions of people see, then it's kind of like we pretend that, well, nobody told us. So this is me telling you, Trump is the Antichrist. As many people know this, maybe millions of people will see this video, or someone else will make a video that millions of people will see, so that no one can say, well, nobody told us that Trump is not the Antichrist. Like, you wonder sometimes in, you know, the German times, with Hitler rising to power, did anybody tell them? Did anybody warn them? And surely people did. I don't know enough history to know who warned them or what happened to the people who warned them, if they all got killed or whatever. But surely some people tried to warn them. Well, people have been trying to warn people about Trump for some time, and they're not taking it seriously. They're not taking it seriously just by pointing out the very obvious facts that he's fascist and racist and just everything bad that we know. That he's anti-American. They don't really seem to be picking up on that. So if people know that he is the Antichrist, maybe they'll take it more seriously if they realize that if losing your country or losing your neighbors or losing your freedoms or losing your own life aren't a serious enough threat to you to take seriously what a threat Trump is, then maybe losing your soul, never having it again, not getting to reincarnate like other people do, will be enough to wake you up and say, if this is your last time around because you want to go down with Trump, you've got a chance to get out. And this is it. Like, I wouldn't tell you that your religion or your belief system had led you completely astray to the point of risking your soul if there wasn't a way out of it. You know, just be like, well, they messed up. But there is a way out of it. You know, Jesus is still your way out of it. But you got to recognize that Trump is not Jesus. He's the opposite of Jesus. And there's a specific way out, Church of Judas, um, that I've got some other videos about. Just type in the hashtag Church of Judas in your church pardon hear me talk about that kind of stuff. And that's for everybody, not just Trumpers. But the Trumpers maybe need it the most because you need to betray the evil Antichrist who of whom has taken over your soul. This is Trump and Putin and Zuckerberg is a large part of it. Now, we need to do things as a society, like President Joe Biden needs to do things like arresting Trump, arresting Zuckerberg, getting people to arrest Putin or however you want to deal with that. But um, you know, letting his own people arrest him or whatever. But we need to call him out for what it is. And once we call him out for what it is, it changes the world. Once we let people know, yeah, you've been following the Antichrist who's been trying to kill you all. And it's pretty obvious. Like, if that's the missing piece of the puzzle that it takes, why would they do this? Because they're evil. Because they're the Antichrist. Now, what is the Antichrist? The Antichrist is someone who's opposite of Christ. Now, when most people can tell that Trump is the exact opposite of Christ. He's not about love. He's about hate. He's not about goodness. He's about badness. I mean, it's just the exact opposite in every single way. He's not about healing. He's about killing. He's killed 850,000 Americans, 6 million people worldwide by spreading lies about the Trump virus. And Trump is the main one responsible for this, which is why I call it the Trump virus. I mean, Putin is responsible behind the scenes, but Trump is the face of it. And of course, Bolsonaro, Trump of the tropics, doing his part in Brazil, and Modi, Trump of India, doing his part in India. All three appointed using Facebook by Putin. All this will come out if you don't already know about it. Like, this will be known to the future if humanity exists. Um, this will be known. But it's already known by plenty of people, enough people that we could do something about it if we share the information. And sure, it comes down to they're evil. They're the Antichrist. How did Putin get a hold of Trump in the first place? I speculate by buying him, by paying his debts, which could have been real estate, business debts he incurred. Also, as far as I can tell, could have been because Trump had some Epstein kids that he paid settlements to for the abuse that he did to them, 12-year-old 
13, 14 year old boys and girls that Trump, I don't know if he paid this settlement money or if Putin paid the settlement money, but maybe that's when he bought it. But the point is Putin bought Trump. Trump's been a Putin agent for decades, apparently. You know, he's been, you know, primed for this position for all this time. And his, one evidence of that is Trump's never done anything against Putin. Just look at it or look at all the Trump trolls and how they can never say anything against Putin. So people will do something against Putin, whether they DEA him like they DEA the president of Haiti or whether the Russian people will wake up and do something about it. But we can help the Russian people wake up just like Putin did so much work and paid so many trolls or whatever, um, forced so many trolls to make Trump seem popular in America. And that's what they are. They're trolls. It's a shame that, yeah, maybe 10%, 15 even 20% of Americans are duped into this. I don't think so. I think it's more like 10%. And they, of course, seem like a much larger percentage of our population based on the troll comments you see all over the place and the machines, the social media machines, Facebook and YouTube and stuff, that Twitter promoting those comments. Twitter recently admitting that they promote those comments to produce maximum outrage, to produce maximum engagement. Well, if it's maximum outrage to promote right-wing comments, then that means the majority of people are left-wing or regular. You know, they're not right-wing. And the ones who are right-wing are terrorists and terrorist supporters. I'll make another video about how Trumpers are terrorists. But this is specifically about Trump being the Antichrist. Now, lots of people do Antichrist things, things that are against Christ. But does that make them the Antichrist? Well, in the case of Hitler... It does. In the case of Trump and Putin, it does. Because the characteristic of the Antichrist is that they claim the mantle of Christ, or they claim to be, you know, second coming of Jesus. Some followers of Trump do believe this about Trump. He encourages that, and that's, you know, part of it. That's part of his uh, stamp of guilt that you can tell. Hitler did the same thing. He took advantage of the Christian churches, and he turned their types of Christianity into an evil genocide. And it's not the first time it's been done. America did that quite a bit. Um, you know, Andrew Jackson, Trump's favorite president, could also be seen as an antichrist for taking, you know, supposedly Christianity as their mantle for genocide against the native people in America, killing hundreds of millions of people. So they've killed more people, but it's not a contest. Doing it in the name of Jesus or doing it and claiming to be Jesus is what makes you locks you in as the Antichrist, and we can save these people from the Antichrist who has overtaken their souls and minds. But if we don't, then their souls probably don't get to come back because, I mean, who knows, but maybe not as humans for sure because it's not fair to the rest of us to even have them here this time around. Um, we need to be able to educate more of them so that less of them you know, ruin humanity and ruin the earth. So we can do that. Hashtag Pillow Revolution, hashtag Church of Judas, hashtag AOC24 is the best way I can see of, since Joe Biden hasn't even arrested Trump yet, of getting, you know, the real people's will and getting America back. So thanks for watching. Thanks for saving democracy as Jesus predicted we will do when we end.